Mexico saw a 3.60% year-on-year decrease in its inflation rate in December. President candidate Claudia Schaumbaum emphasized the need for foreign investment. And Mexico City government has announced plans to transform the city's main square into a pedestrian-exclusive area. My name is Jess Kreiter. Welcome to Mexico Business Now. These are your top stories of the week. While the prices of essential goods increased in December, Mexico saw a 3.60% year-on-year decrease in its inflation rate. The inflation rate for products in the food and beverage sector, as well as the tobacco, dropped from 40.4% in 2022 to 6.25% in 2023. The top five food products that recorded double-digit cumulative inflation rates during 2023 were onions, poblano peppers, green tomatoes, carrots, and sugar. During the annual meeting of the members of the American Society of Mexico, Claudia Scheinbaum, Morena's presidential candidate, emphasized the need for foreign investment to catalyze sustainable development and societal well-being in Mexico. Furthermore, Scheinbaum said that the key issues like nearshoring and the energy transition will be pivotal in attracting new investments to the country. She added that the investments should, in turn, guarantee sustainability and create better opportunities for Mexican workers. Mexico City's government has announced plans to transform the city's main square into a pedestrian exclusive area. The shift is part of the $2.9 million Camina to Socolo project, which also considers the installation of urban furniture, vegetation and lightning. The initiative aims to ensure citizens' right to access public space in one of the world's most densely populated cities. Semex plans to raise $265 million for the reopening of two bonds initially listed on a Mexican stock exchange in October 2023. The company's objective is to allocate a minimum of 85% of its debt to sustainability goals by 2030. This aligns with Semex's dedication to environmental and social responsibility encompassing initiatives, such as the reduction of CO2 emissions in its productive processes and the enhancements to the life cycle of its products. Shell joins Qatar Energy and BP suspending shipments through the Red Sea indefinitely, amid fears of conflict escalation between the Houthi and United States and United Kingdom. More oil majors are expected to join Shell as potential oil spills represent a major risk for the companies, threatening the safety of their crews. All of this and more at Mexico Business News. Don't miss out on this week's Mexico Business Now podcast, starring Karina Lerma, CEO Managing Director at Vracht Mexico, available on all streaming platforms. This weekly roundup was brought to you by Mexico View, the premier community of multinational business leaders focused on Mexico.